Hi friends, this is Mohamed Shakil here and today I'm going to show you how you can design a bed sheet in 3ds Max. To start off, firstly go to customize unit setup and uh, set your uh, units to centimeters over here as inches. Click OK. So let me just show you how the final output is going to be. So this is going to be your final output and uh, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how you can design this particular bed sheet you can see over here so to start off I'll go to the top view and I'll create a box and uh, I'll give some dimensions so you can give a height of uh, say 20 and you have your matrix being created here so let me just select this make sure this is selected now go to export export and here you select <coughs> you can see here PJ Autodesk Collada. So what you can see over here is Autodesk Collada. So select this and save your file. So you can uh, go to the desktop and uh, create your uh, whatever you can put. So 3ds Max bed sheet. and you can uh, save your file name so I'll save it as mattress in 3ds Max so once I save it I'm going to click OK over here and come back to Marvelous Designer so here you're going to create the bed sheet and you're going to take that bed sheet to 3ds Max once again to do the further processing so let me just uh, take a new file here so even though you don't know anything about Marvelous Designer or anything about 3ds Max if you follow this tutorial uh, I can assure you for sure you'll uh, come out with good results so go to import Colada and show the software where exactly you're go you have uh, placed your file So. Max bed sheet, mattress in 3ds Max. So you have it here, and I'll click OK, and you have your uh, mattress already ready over here. And now you're going to create the bed sheet. So to create, select this particular create rectangle button, click once, and specify the dimension so it is in two. Um, millimeters so specify 2200 by 2000 and click OK and you have your rectangle there select your selection tool and uh, place it somewhere over here and go to the basics and specify the particle distance as uh, say 25 and go to the fabric and uh, select the fabric as uh, cotton and uh, on this over here set it the same way and once you're done go over here and click on the sync button and you can see your same um, object has uh, appeared over there so if you want uh, the navigation the settings to be like 3ds max you have the option on setting preference and uh, view control you have the 3ds max per set so you can keep it over here and once you're done with that go over here and uh, on the render style you can put it as mesh and uh, on the environment gizmo put it as uh, rolled coordinate gizmo 
so these are the initial settings to be set up so once you're done with that setup it's pretty easy to work with so pull a little bit down so this is not so difficult to set this so you can rotate this and now uh, you can increase the uh, length as well as the width and place it uh, almost like on the center of the bed So you can uh, pull a little bit this side and over here increase this length too and uh, pull it here So place it somewhat like uh, it's in the center of the bed and uh, place it in such a way that if you just put it down it's going to lie on the proper place. So place it in such a way and uh, change the render style to uh, monochrome or thick texture surface. So you can uh, go to the basic and put it as 20 itself the particle distance okay and now click on the simulate button and uh, wait until the simulation gets over so it's going to take a little bit of time so as you can see here it falls on our bed so wait till the simulation sets down and uh, once the simulation sets down, you can pause the simulation. So keep watching uh, and I will show the rest of the uh, techniques and then my uh, the next part of the tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed my t uh, this tutorial and I hope this tutorial is going to help you in your uh, interior designs or any projects that you want to work on. Thank you.